Hey guys, so welcome to part three. Uh, thank you for watching all this so much. Um, it's, uh, it's it's going pretty well, I think, this build. Um, so uh, I've just got to do the fish off the these ribs, uh, which will be pretty cool. Um, like I, I think I said in the last video that the edges on these were quite sharp still, even though I'd gone over with the uh, belt sander on them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to smooth all these off. Once they're all smoothed off, uh, I'm then going to be fitting them all to this part. Is that right? No, this part, so it'll be like this. Um, and then it's uh, spray painting and that sort of thing. So I'm going to paint the parts and that'll take about an hour for that to be done. Um, I'm then going to give it some detailing, some ed sanding in the edges just to give it a bit more class, you know, a bit more style. So that'd be nice. Um, and then I'll be putting a protective coat on it and then assembling the entire thing together. I will have to make a section for the switch, uh, as always, um, but that's fairly easy. And um, yeah, I th we went with the brown wrap on the other one. I think on this one I'm going to go with a black wrap. So it kind of like lends with the other one as well. So the kind of like you can tell that they're a couple because all got black at the top. So well, maybe I'll go grey. No, it's got it's got to be black. It's got to be black. Uh, so yeah, uh, before I say anything, or do anything else. I just want to say, if you're enjoying these videos, please give it a like. It massively helps on the YouTube algorithm uh, for people to find out about this channel. I am trying to grow the channel. Um, so if you do want to subscribe, that'll be great. It doesn't cost anything. If you get bored of it, you can unsubscribe whenever you want. Um, and it's free. So uh, you'll get more notifications when more of these build videos are coming out. Um, and also, if you want to get 10% discount on any order, as many times as you want, all you have to do is go to my Patreon, it's £3 a month, but you get a 10% discount, and you'll get this full build video and more build videos, where it's just one long montage of me building, and no parts 1, 2 or 3, so uh, it's pretty good. Uh, anyway, let's get to work, and let's get this finished, because I can't wait to see what it's going to look like.
Right guys, so... So cool. Uh, the main part is done. It actually feels quite nice holding it there. So, as you saw, we've now got the switch section which is perfectly lined up to go for the uh, chassis. And I'm going to put the black wrap on here. One thing I need to do is I need to spray all this. So I'm going to put the black wrap on. We need a pommel. And we've gone to all this work here to make this just a, a gorgeous emitters and it seems it seems like just having a bog standard pommel is a bit poo so and I'm, if it had been in my for a while I might make a small slightly similar version of this to go at the pommel so we're going to do that um, it will add a little bit of length on it um, but I think it's going to be worth it. I think it'll look really nice. So, yeah. I'll go and get that done now.
So you'll uh, see me have made all the, the ribs for the pommel um, and rivet them in place. Now I could leave them like that um, and it'd be fine. I'd have to file them down. Um, but I just felt he needed a little extra something. So I've actually hand welded each side of each um, rib to it. This is very, very hot, but very, very hot. Okay, that's going to be burning me now, so I'm going to have to put that down. So, yeah, once it's cooled, <laughs> once it's cooled down, uh, I will then uh, give it a good sand, um, just to smooth it all off, get ready for paint. Uh, I will be putting it in place. It's going to have a D ring on it as well, but I'll be putting it in place and then spraying the entire thing. And then they'll have uh, the weathering effects. I'm going to do the specific one. I don't normally do one like this, but this is one that it needs. So I'll be doing the weathering effect to it, and then uh, it'll have be it will get lacquered to protect all that paint job. And then we put the electronics inside, and it's done. I'm looking forward to seeing this one. It's it's nice. Anyway, this will be all in part three. I think. Fingers crossed. Hey, so I might have slightly forgotten that I was going to film stuff. But to be honest, you've not really missed anything. Literally, the only thing I've done is I've uh, just sanded down these bits here. Just give a bit of a rough sand as well. And then put this in place. And I've actually put... Um, I was going to put a single D-loop. Uh, I don't know if I have one to hand. Um... I was going to put a D-loop on like this, but it looked a bit odd, and then I realised that this spacing's the spacing here, the spacing here is about the same as one of these D-loops, so I thought, well, actually, I'll put that D-loop on, I can rivet this one in so it's fully, fully in there, and then rivet that one so it keeps this in place, so that's what I've done. Um, everything's prepped, it just needs uh, a spray now, so I'm going to do that. Um, and then it's it's just a bit of weathering, take a bit of the spray off, and we're done. I'll show you the results in a moment. Hey guys, so it's been a few seconds since you last saw me. Uh, in reality, it's been the whole weekend. Um, I have finished this really cool saber oh, dagger. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, it, it took a I did, it took a day to do the paint, uh, and then it took about another day for it to have the lacquer, the clear lacquer, protect it uh, before I could finish it all off. But are you ready for this? Here it is. This is the finished saber. I think the pommel turned out great. I'm really glad how the pommel is, and you can see it's all weathered and scratched so it's not brand new looking on there we got the nice black wrap on there as well the switch section has turned out really really well I'm really happy with that we've got some scratched paintwork there and also on the side and the piece de resistance is this emitter it is so so cool uh, I love how there's a gap between each one of these and the uh, main, main body. But you've got all this detail. Every single one of these has got a huge amount of detail on there. So it's not brand new, super shiny uh, black. It's got scratches on there and weathering. And it's just really... I'm so, so glad it turned out like this. Because it, it really is exactly what I had in mind. Um, it feels really nice in the hand. This is a perfect size for my hand here. Um, you could hold it here, but it's a bit weird holding it there. But holding it here is absolutely fine. I'm going to turn it on. Definitely Lord of the Rings vibes. Definitely Sith. Um, yeah, it's just turned out brilliantly. Really, really happy with how that looks. <clears throat> I 
It took so long, it took days to do these ribs. Just the, a huge amount of work to make those ribs. I mean, oh my God. <sighs> so much time, so much energy. I mean, it, you wouldn't think it was that hard to do, but it really was. Each one is all profiled, so they're virtually identical all the way around. Everything lines up beautifully, so there's not one higher than the rest. They're all really, really well positioned. Same for the base, you can stand it on the base like that and it will just stand on a surface, which I really, really like. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to pause, come back in a second with the lights off and turn it on. Okay, I'm, I'm back, I'm going to turn it on. <laughs> it's just, it's so good and the, bl the blade will be a little longer it's a route, the blade will be about that length, uh, maybe an extra inch, but... But yeah, so nice, really good blade. But yeah, really good blade. I've got to say, and I actually put a, a bigger D-loop on the back, and I managed to bend that over. Uh, these ribs really well held in place, uh, the soldering, I mean the soldering on there is absolutely fantastic, it's very hard to get a good view, but the soldering is so subtle and so nice, it's actually, I'd say that's most of my, uh, the best soldering that I've done, um, but I may look at doing more soldering like that actually, if I have to do things in the future. I'm kind of hoping and praying he's not going to ask for another custom sabre build. These were really hard. These two sabres were really hard. I'll go grab the other one so you can see them side by side. Uh, one second. So I'm back and here we are. These are the two. Quite different in design. Um, you've got this. I, I love this one. Is I love this one so much. But you've got, they're the very, very different in design. This one's a bit more light and shiny, but you've got the fantastic silver edge of the blades on the ribs there. Um, and again, a, a really good job on the switch, se switch section. And then you've got a nice shiny pommel. So it's really, really nice. It's very different, but they make a, they make a fantastic pair of these. Uh, these two Sabre Daggers are just absolutely awesome. I, I'm really, really happy with how they both came out. Um, they're both met my expectations um, this one has excelled uh, in the design and the look um, it would part of me would love to make one of these on a larger scale a bigger uh, a bigger version of this um, but it, I don't know if I can the this sort of these ribs take so long to do and so much work I really don't know if it's something that I'll ever be able to mass produce um it'd be such a shame not to not to make another one of these i am such a big fan of this i really really am a huge fan of this design i would love to have a full hilt with this type of design on there um maybe i should really look at trying to do it again uh, and make more of these I, I just love it i just love the emitter it's most probably the most detailed Admitter, I've actually done on a saber, I think. But I hope you like this episode. I hope you like part three. It actually took a long time. These have taken uh, um, a lot more work than I, I. Well, they took the amount of work I knew they were going to do, which is like th two, three days, something like that, just to get to this point. So it was worth it. I, I hope you think it was worth it as well. But please leave a comment. Please like and subscribe, guys. I need subscribers. I'm trying to grow the channel. Tell your friends about it. If there's somebody who wants a lightsaber, you can say, oh, no, this guy on YouTube, he actually shows you him making the lightsabers that you can buy. So, uh, yeah, I hope I'm 100% I'm, I'm confident he's going to love this one. And I am 98% sure he's going to love this one just because it's so different and unique. But together, these are just absolutely awesome sabers. Um, so thanks for tuning in. Oops. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you like the episode. And I'll be coming back with more build videos in the future. See you then.